I'm Jennifer Vidal. I am an archaeologist with the Georgia Department of Natural Resources. We are here in DeKalb County, Georgia at the Lions Farm. We're putting on a public day. We've invited uh, public citizens out to help us conduct some archaeology here to educate them as to what we do and why we do what we do. Uh, and we're using the Lions Farm here as an example. We are looking for evidence of past human activity. So here um, at the Lions Farm, we are trying to look and see if we can determine different areas of activity. A lot of the people who are here today are from the general public. Uh, we've invited some folks out, or they volunteered to come out and help us. Uh, they're here to learn about archaeology and um, find some interesting things that hopefully will tell us um, a little bit more about the people who lived here and uh, maybe the general area, what the people might have been eating who lived in the house. I'm Becky Baldwin and I work in art history at Emory University. I, I make di digital images and but I'm here on a dig today. This is my first time being in this spot, being on a dig and I've learned a, a bunch of things today so I'm feeling good about that. Hello, my name is Jennifer Weber. I work for the Historic Preservation Division, the Department of Natural Resources in Georgia. And we're here today at um, the Lion Farm um, having a public archaeology day. Today I've been um, working on Unit 2. We put that right in front of the basement um, of the Lion Farm and uh, we dug down to about 10 centimeters and found um, quite a few actually uh, for such a short level um, artifacts. Uh, a lot of them were modern but we found some nails, we found an interesting little penny uh, into 1972 um, amongst some other things, some pottery etc. A unit is um, a measurable area, really that's all it is. We try, since archaeology is so destructive, we try to dig in um, units that we can measure. We today open two one by two units, um, so everything we take out of the ground we know um, comes out of those units that we can place into time and space, really. Um, and so later uh, when we find something interesting or very um, uh, valuable culturally, uh, we want to know exactly where it was, um, since we're taking these artifacts effects out of the units, um, we can't put them back in um, exactly uh, the way they were before we disturbed it. We're a nice combination, I think, of professionals and amateurs. And I was a little bit nervous coming out because I know nothing. Even though I've read about archaeology and loved it all my life, I didn't know a whole lot about the procedures, but they were very patient and helpful and good-natured about it. And, and they know what they're doing. We will take the artifacts that we find today. Uh, we will take them back into a lab. We will clean them up. If anything needs conservation, we'll try and stabilize it, like maybe certain types of metals. Uh, we will then uh, let the artifacts dry after they've been washed. We will analyze them. Put it in the sun a little bit. It's Budweiser. You say Budweiser? <laughs> We'll put them all out on a table, um, each level or each bag individually, and describe what the artifacts are and see if we can determine different activities or, um, or what was going on specifically in that small area. Come out. This is awesome. It's my first time. I just read about it a few days ago online that there was a, a public, uh, a call for public um, participation in this archaeology project. I don't know, it's amazing. It was easy to do, easy to sign up for, and it's a beautiful day, and I don't know, it's like nothing I've ever done before, and I, I'm sure I'll be doing it again. So it's really fun. We found some little bits. We don't know how important they are, but it's still great to sift through things and try to find out something about the people that lived here.